Hi guys, it's Tapling Team here and in today's video we're gonna be creating a small website for a dentist. If you need a mini website for your Instagram bio that will have all links to your social networks, different ways to contact you, opt-in forms and so on, and you have never ever tried to create a website and you don't have any special skills like programming or designing, then consider using Taplink. It's the easiest and the most effective way to create your own mini website in 10-15 minutes. Also, you'll be able to edit your mini website right from your mobile phone. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to go to the Taplink website and sign up. You should go right over here and click on sign in. Then you should go right over here and click on sign up. As I already have an account, I will skip this step. You will see this page with a lot of ready-made templates that you can use. If you are not sure how your page should look like, you can use one of those templates. You can easily customize it for your own needs. But in this video, I'm gonna be creating a page from scratch and for this purpose, I should go right over here and click on empty template. Okay, the first thing I want to do is to delete this block. So I click on it, then click on action and click on delete. Now we are creating a page for a dentist. It means that we are building a personal brand. And in this case, we need to add some personal information like our first and last name and some information about what we do. By the way, we already created a website for a personal brand and if you haven't watched it yet please make sure you watch it next okay as I said I want to add my first and last name For this purpose I'm gonna click on add block and choose text here I enter my first and last name choose center alignment and medium headline and then I click on save changes uh, the next thing I want to do is to add some text about what I do so I click on add block again choose text and enter some information about what I do in my case it'll be something like this now I want to add my personal photo I'm gonna click on add block and then I want to choose banner as you can see, it's available on the Pro Rate plan. I'm gonna activate a 7-day free trial. So I click on Show Details and click on Start a 7-day free trial. Now I go right over here and refresh the page. I don't like this message always popping up, so I'm gonna click on Publish to remove it. And now I click on Add Block again and I see that all blocks are available. I choose Banner again and click on Upload Image. Then I choose an image I wanna upload and then I click on Save Changes. Okay, the main purpose of this page is to attract new customers. I'm gonna offer my potential customers to book a free consultation to encourage people to contact me. First, I'm gonna add a headline like book a free consultation, choose center alignment and medium headline and then I click on save changes. And now I'm gonna add links to two different messengers, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. It's a good idea to offer several ways to contact you because different people prefer using different methods. In Facebook Messenger, I enter my username and in WhatsApp, I'm entering my phone number. And then I want to change the appearance of this button. So I click on appearance and choose this blocks placement. And then I click on save changes. Okay, after the first piece of information about myself, I'm going to add a delimiter because there is going to be a new piece of information and I want to separate them into clear groups. So I choose the delimiter and then choose the delimiter type. I'm gonna use this one and then I choose the size of the delimiter and click on save changes. Now I want to change it to full width line. Okay, and now I want to add my specializations. First, I'm gonna add a headline like my services, choose center alignment and medium headline again. And then I'm gonna add media in text block to add three areas of specialization. The first one is going to be general dentistry. And then in the text field, I'm going to describe what services I offer in general dentistry. And then I want to add an icon. So I click here. I choose an icon that I want to have. For example, I want to have something like this. I click on apply. And then I'm going to add my second specialization. It's going to be cosmetic treatments. And then in the text field, I'm going to describe in detail what I offer in cosmetic treatments. And then again, I add an icon. And I repeat the process for the third specialization.
and then I want to increase the indent between cards so I click on layout and increase the indent here and then I click on save changes okay again I want to add a delimiter because further I'm gonna add a new piece of information so I click on this delimiter click on action and I duplicate it and then I move it right here okay the next piece of information is going to be my clients reviews so again I choose text and enter a headline like what my clients say choose center alignment and medium headline and then again I'm gonna choose medium in text block to add these clients reviews in the headline field i'm gonna add a name of my client and in the text field i'm gonna add a review then i want to add an icon something like a quote so i click here and type in quote and choose for example this icon okay i'm gonna change a layout so i click on layout and choose this placement and then again i increase the indent between cards and i want to increase the size of the icon something like this and then i add the second review so i click on add new item choose an icon again In the headline field i'm gonna add my client's name and in the text field i'm gonna add a review and then i repeat the process for the third review and then i click on save changes okay now i'm gonna add a new delimiter to divide my page into clear groups So I click on this delimiter, click on action and I duplicate it and then I move it right here. And the next thing I want to add is information about my office. So I click on add block, choose text and enter something like office info, choose center alignment and medium headline. And then I'm gonna add a small delimiter to make this section look more visually appealing. And then I'm gonna add a text block like location and i'm gonna choose center alignment and i'm gonna make it bold and then again i add text with my address and now i want to add a map so i click on add block and choose map and here i enter my address and click on add marker and then i click on save changes as i already added an address i want to delete this link so i click on map choose map options and disable add separate links for each marker okay now i'm gonna add my working hours so i click on add block choose text enter something like hours choose center alignment and i'm gonna make it bold again and then i add one more text block and enter my working hours and now i want to add my phone so i click on text and enter my phone number if you enter your phone like this then this phone number will be clickable so i'm gonna choose center alignment i'm gonna make it bold and i'm gonna make it large okay and now i want to add links to my social networks but before that i'm gonna add a small delimiter again to separate this information so i click on add block choose delimiter choose this type of delimiter and this size and then i add text like Follow me on social media, choose center alignment and make it bold and then I add links to my social networks. I click on add blog, choose social networks, choose Facebook and Instagram. In both fields I enter my username. And I want to change the appearance of this button, so I click on appearance, choose this blocks placement, and then I click on save changes. Okay, our page is almost ready. Now, I want to change the design of the page. I go to the design tab and choose a template I like. For example, I want to choose this template. So I click on it, click on view, scroll down, and then I click on choose. Then I go to the page again and see how it looks like okay looks pretty good and the last thing i want to do is to change the background for some blocks to structure our page so i click on this block go to section and choose primary section and then i click on save changes and then i expand this section for the blocks i need 
something like this and then i want to add a section here so i click on the block go to section choose primary section and then click save changes and then i expand this section for the media in text block okay looks awesome now you need to get a link to your page you should click on publish and type in your username. In my case, it'll be something like dentist New York City. And then I click on connect. Okay, this is the link to your website. You should copy it and then paste it to your Instagram bio or to any social networks that you need. Okay, this is our mini website for a dentist. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Do you like it? Would you like to create something similar? And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumb up and subscribe to this channel. Bye!